Flight of the Crow's Wing presents Choke Canyon State Park in Callahan, Texas. Birds, wildflowers, and other wildlife. March 2023. While waiting on our next gate guarding assignment, we decided to stay at the Choke Canyon State Park. In our three years of traveling, we've learned to expect the unexpected, like when a police officer waves you to the side of the road. Unsure of what was happening, we scooched off onto the berm. As these large loads drove by us, we were happy for two reasons. One, that there was a berm on the side of the road, and two, that we'd haul a small travel trailer. I guess you never really know what the day and the road will bring. Choke Canyon is a Texas state park south of San Antonio. We reserved our site online and chose Site 129 for its lake view. The sites have water and electricity, and the camp is known for its birding and wildlife viewing, including this flock of black-tailed deer who like to graze in the middle of the campground. After setting up camp, we noticed two large logs moving on the far bank. So of course, we had to suit up and find out where the logs were going. Unfortunately, by the time we got across the lake, the alligators had disappeared, but there was a lot of other things to see. We took our time watching the bird show, and one of the first birds we came across was this black crowned night heron. And of course, there were lots of ducks, and this one paddled right with us for a long ways. He, of course, is a canvasback. And then there were these showy birds, the showy snowy egret. Come on. After we had paddled a while, the wind had picked up and it was time for us to head back to camp. And here is a view of our camp from across the lake, as it would have been seen by the logs, well, alligators. All told, we took an hour and a half to paddle a couple of miles. The field behind our camp was full of beautiful wildflowers, like this Texas blue bonnet. And these colorful guys are Lantana camara. Directly behind camp was a large patch of golden crown beard, which seemed to be making the bees very happy. <laughs> ah, windy. It's so windy. Run, turkey! Run, turkey, run! Texas State Parks, where you can enjoy the beauty of the wildflowers blowing in the wind. You're not allowed to pick them, but you can just enjoy their beauty. It's so nice. You can just enjoy their beauty. Wait! Somebody doesn't like wildflowers. Since it was so windy, it was not suitable for paddling, so we decided to hike across the campground, out to the 75-acre lake.
this lake was chock full of waterfowl, including this common moorhen. And then, in the distance, we saw ducks acting rather weird. Apparently, this is some part of their mating ritual. I guess their selection criteria includes not becoming dizzy when swimming in a small circle with their heads underwater. <laughs> so attractive. Maybe they're looking at each other's feet. Anyways, these ruddy ducks were ruddy puddle ducks. <laughs> Walking along the shore, we came across this trio of American white ibis. Wait, there's only two. Oh, never mind. There's three. And then we spotted something even more rare. This glossy ibis, which is not something normally seen in this area. We were told by one of our birder neighbors in the campground that we might see this bird here. And we did see this bird here. Walking back to camp, we saw this little guy. He's so cute, I just want to boot his snoot. Of course, he's also known as a swamp puppy. This hike covered just over four and a half miles and took us two hours. The next day, the winds calmed down enough for us to actually get back out on the water. Wouldn't you know, we got to see a herd of native javelinas. And their babies. Look how cute the babies are. And this little thing went wee 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 all the way home. Ah, God damn it. We were also told by our birding friend to be on the lookout for the eastern great egret, whose face turns green during breeding season. This guy was definitely sporting a green mask. He's all ready. Bow chicka wow wow. And then we spotted one of our favorite birds. The fanciest of all the carrion eaters. It's like someone put on a tuxedo to go to a roadkill buffet. This is the crested caracara in all his splendor. So fancy, so very, very fancy. While on this paddle, we got a call from G&G Security that they had a gate for us and we finished up and headed back to camp to pack up. And back at camp, the birds came to us instead of us going to see them. These were the Rio Grande turkeys. Thanks for watching. Oh, and one more thing. We're always on the lookout for new ideas for camping rigs, like this one we found at an antique store. Who wouldn't want a wilderness camper? This one comes with a boat as its roof. I don't know what happens when it rains while you're fishing. Maybe we'll see something like that at next year's expo. If you like this video, please hit the like button and share with your friends, if you have any. It's okay if you don't. We'll be your friends. Thanks, friend.